Dear friends, we are here assembled in the presence of God to unite Tanner and Cameron in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. 
Who gives this bride to be married? A mother and I. All right, take my hand and give it to him. <laughs> Love you. Love you. You may be seated. This, uh, this marriage is uh, particularly personal for me because I got to see these two grow up. Um, got to watch this guy right here pitch in the state championship. And I got to uh, watch this uh, wonderful lady um, graduate sigma cum laude from the University of Georgia. I mean, uh, University of Alabama. <laughs> And uh, one, thing, one thing I know about this couple is they're determined, they're hardworking, and they're going to do well. Amen? <laughs> we did a little bit of a meeting this week, and one of the questions, and this was the surprise I was telling you guys about. I'm about to give all your dirty laundry out. No, just kidding. <laughs> Question number eight was, what do we as a couple want out of life? And collectively, both of their answers was happiness, memories, love, and having children. Isn't this a great goal for all of us? The home is built upon love, which virtue is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends, so faith, hope, love abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibility. You will share alike in the responsibilities and the joys of life. When the companions share a sorrow, the sorrow is cut in half. When they share a joy, the joy is doubled. You are exhorted to dedicate your home to your creator. Take his word, the Bible, for your guide. Give loyal devotion to his church, thus uniting the mutual strength of these two most important institution, institutions. Living your lives as his willing servants and true happiness will be your temporal and eternal reward. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we love you today. We thank you for both Tanner and Cameron. I thank you, God, that I just got the joy of watching them grow up, Father God, sometimes in personal ways, sometimes, Father God, from afar, and, and being able to just watch them succeed and do great things, Father. We do ask, God, that you encamp your angels around this couple, around the families. We just ask, God, that you strengthen them day by day, Father God, and we give you all the honor and the glory in Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen. Tanner. Will you take Cameron to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you uh, promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? I do. Amen. Cameron, will you take Tanner to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person and to his usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> the wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of gold symbolizes the purity or your love of your love for each other. And the unending circle symbolizes the unending vows which you are taking, which may be broken honorably in the sight of God only by death. As a token of your vows, you will give and receive the rings. And I'll start with you, Tanner. Like putting it on him or? Yes, just kind of, yeah. <laughs> All right. Tanner, you will give the ring and repeat after me. Cameron, with this ring. Cameron, with this ring. I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. He promised me his voice wouldn't crack. Mm. <laughs> Cameron, you will give the ring and repeat after me. Okay. Is that your left hand? Okay. 
Tanner with this ring. Tanner with this ring. I pledge my love and life to you. I pledge my love and life to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Will you both repeat this after me? <laughs> Entreat me not to leave you. Entreat, Entreat me, me not, not to, to leave, leave you. Or to return from following you. Or, or to return from, from following, following you. you. For where you go, I will go. From, from where, where you, you go, go, I'll go. go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. And, and where, where you lodge, lodge I'll lodge. lodge. Your people shall be my people. Your, your people, people shall be my people. people. And your God, my God. And, and your, your God, God, my God. God. Let's move over here to okay. the covenant area. The bride and groom have chosen to demonstrate God's presence in their marriage by assembling the unity cross. This is a sculpture which will serve as a lasting reminder of the covenant they are making today. Each piece of the unity cross represents the unique strength, beauty, and originality that God has given Cameron and Tanner. When these pieces are assembled together, they represent the two becoming one in the presence of God. Tanner, this piece of the unity cross represents you and your responsibility to God, that you will lead your home and family by His Word. By placing the, this piece of the unity cross onto the base, you demonstrate your promise to Cameron that you will serve her, love her, and support her for as long as you both shall live. I think it's backwards. Okay. Cameron, this piece of the uh, Unity Cross represents you and your strength and support to Tanner. By placing this piece of the Unity Cross into Tanner's Cross, you demonstrate your promise to Tanner that you will serve him, love him, and support him for as long as you both shall live. These three pegs of the Unity Cross represent what will set your marriage apart. These pegs represent God's covenant to you as a married couple because of your faith in Him and you're putting Him at the center of your lives and your marriage. He promises to, to never leave you nor forsake you. Because of this, His word, His love and His word will be the bedrock of your marriage, bonding you together stronger than any trial or difficulty. As you place these three pegs onto the cross in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Is that okay? We'll fix it later. Yeah. That's not in there. Let's step out to Since <laughs> they have made these commitments before God and this assembly by the authority of God and the laws of the state of Alabama, I declare that Tanner and Cameron are now husband and wife. Tanner and Cameron, you are no, lo are no longer two independent persons, but one. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Tanner, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> oh, I got red lipstick all on me. No, you're not my back, not my back, my arm, my arm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tanner Weaver. Yeah.